Hello, dear friend. This is your weekly astrology horoscope. And the upcoming week is very special because, first of all, we are having a solar eclipse on the 4th, on Saturday. And also, we are having Neptune turning direct on Wednesday. Which means that during the whole week, Neptune is stationary. And this will bring lots of the Neptunian energy, which we need to process. So first of all, we need to slow down a little bit. This also resonates very well with the upcoming solar eclipse. So right now we are in the last phase of the lunar cycle. And this is the time when we need to complete things. We need to slow down. Maybe we need to relax. And also we need to prepare for the new beginning. But it's not here yet. It's coming towards the end of the week and during the following week. Until then, throughout this week, we need to process more of this energy internally. On an external level, you need to be more careful about things that you may forget, about information or activities which require lots of focus and concentration. Because when Neptune is stationary, we are ungrounded. We are more likely to be confused, to forget about things, to be more dreamy, more sleepy. It's a great time also to pay attention to your dreams. And dreams are actually the way our subconscious mind communicates with us. It's the way we can process things. And when Neptune is stationary, the dreams can be even more vivid or special or strange as well. So pay attention to your dreams during this week. Be careful if there are things that require lots of focus and concentration or details or information or anything like that. Because again, things might be messier or unclear or generally there might be some kind of mistakes. And on the other side, allow yourself to to relax, to experience this healing energy to experience this calming and relaxing and also creative energy. But it's really not the time to push yourself to create something real with this energy. Now it's more the time to process it internally, perhaps connect to the inspiration, to the creativity. And then there will be the time to really take action and do something. This week, it's more about processing. And especially if you have a strong Pisces energy in your chart, if you are have a sun in Pisces or even the moon or the ascendant, and especially if you have a planet around the 21st degree, this is the degree where Neptune is stationary, this can be especially important for you. So tune into the Neptunian energy. It will be very intense during the whole week, especially on Wednesday. Now, let's get started with our day-to-day prediction. On Monday, we are also starting with some Neptunian energy. The transit Mars is having a nice aspect, a trine with Neptune. The water signs are triggered the most, especially Scorpio and Pisces, but also Cancer. And overall, For all of us, this can be a very healing and calming energy. It's a great time to help someone, to support someone, to do something nice for others, even for some kind of charity work or some kind of gesture or just to to feel nice about being the caregiver. This is usually very nice for Neptune. Also, this is very nice for creativity. And when I'm saying that we need to tune into this energy, process internally, be patient, it doesn't mean that you should not do anything at all. If you feel the impulse to 
do something of course do it especially if it's not something that is supposed to last for a really long time or have a long lasting impact of course you may take some action and monday could be a great day to do something creative to take care of someone and also to use your intuition and your inspiration the transit moon will be in libra on monday which is also very supportive for connecting to the people around you and being more diplomatic, finding the compromise, also feeling connected to the people who are closest around you. So overall, Monday could be a more emotional day, I would say, and especially related to some personal stuff. Then on Tuesday, we have aspects which can help us to be really productive however we are getting closer and closer to the neptune shift which is on wednesday so we need to keep this in mind even though we might actually do some practical things we may also feel kind of confused or a little bit distracted or maybe just really really inspired and being spaced out a little bit so please don't forget about Neptune. But on the other side, also keep in mind that we have some really nice aspects like the Sun and Mercury both having sextiles with Saturn in Aquarius. This can really help with having a vision about something, about a long-term goal, about something that's really important for you. But at the same time, think about how you can materialize it how you can make it happen. And it's so interesting that actually such a combination can help us to be very logical. So there is still some practical energy that can help us. And if we master this energy to combine the Neptunian inspiration and creativity with the practicality of Saturn, we can become a miracle workers. We can do amazing things. So there is this possibility that we can blend those two. And I'm telling you, it's not easy. So don't be too hard on yourself if you feel a little bit lost or something. But keep in mind that we also have this opportunity to do some great stuff, both meaningful and also practical. On Tuesday, the moon is still in Libra, so this energy of balance and harmony is very present, the desire to connect to others. Plus, we have a sextile between Venus and Neptune. So Tuesday can be a very romantic, poetic day. It's great for communication with the people that you love, for dates, for relationships. In terms of money, I would still recommend you to be careful because with such intense Neptunian energy, things might be either unrealistic, it's possible that we may wear our pink glasses, so be a little bit more mindful with this. But for opening your heart, for healing yourself or helping someone else, this is a pretty nice day. So Tuesday is really interesting. On Wednesday, we have this important shift we already talked about, Neptune turning direct at the 21st degree of Pisces. So if Neptune triggers something in your chart, a planet or a cusp of a house, this will be especially intense and important for you. But even if it's not the case, you may still feel this background energy and yeah, if you can really try to find some time to relax, to nurture yourself, to focus on something more creative perhaps and connect to your intuition. Overall for healing, this is an incredible change and shift and energy coming our way. We also have two aspects on Wednesday. There is a quincunx between Mercury and Uranus, which might bring something surprising, something unexpected, something which is new and also something which requires a different approach. So 
be open for those shifts and surprises. And also a minor challenging aspect between the Sun and Pluto. This can help with going deeper into certain experiences or tasks or goals, but also we might be more tense or there is a chance we might confront more with others. So be mindful how you express your desires. And also keep in mind that the moon will be in Scorpio on Wednesday. So this on its own is also bringing more intensity. So people can be especially sensitive, especially emotional and receptive and uh, also vulnerable. But sometimes out of this increased sensitivity, they may respond maybe in a harsher way or have some kind of trust issues. So emotionally, it's a complicated day. That's true. On Thursday, things are kind of similar. So Neptune is already direct, but it's still stationary. It's still very slow. So what we already said is still relevant for Thursday. And the moon is in Scorpio. So still too much of emotional intensity and more sensitivity. And also ability to focus on healing, on transformation, on working with something internally and the moon will have a conjunction with mars and opposition with uranus so even more intensity and even some possibility for confrontation so be careful on thursday and give yourself a nice rest if you can have some kind of meditation or yoga practice that would also be just amazing then on Friday, the energy is different because first of all, the moon is already in Sagittarius. So we are going to feel different. It's more Jupiter's energy. So more focus on the future, more positivity. However, this is also the last day of this lunar cycle and it's the day before the solar eclipse. So try not to plan something really important or something which is totally new, like starting something for the first time, for example, not a good idea. And keep in mind that even though the atmosphere is generally more positive, the energy is still quite low. So you may still feel less motivated maybe to work hard or to put some, you know, intense effort into something. So try to plan a little bit easier tasks or tasks which require less physical energy and effort. On Friday also, the sun is having a quincunx with Uranus, which can help us to be more creative, to be more open for some kind of change. But there is the possibility that something unexpected may show up. It's not necessarily bad. It's not necessarily good. It's also depending on our reactions. But there could be something surprising and something shifting around. Plus, also on Friday, we have a quintile between Mercury and Jupiter. And this accentuates even more the Jupiter Sagittarius energy that is overall very strong. And it's a great time also to think about something, perhaps to dream about something, to expand your vision and understanding about something so for learning for reconsidering some kind of plans even for communication with other people this is a pretty nice combination then on saturday we have this big solar eclipse and there is another video coming on coming up specifically about the solar eclipse probably it will be published on tuesday so stay tuned for this extensive solar eclipse video but now i just want to say that of course energetically this is very intense and of course this is very transformational and the energy is also very very transformative and intense so keep in mind that you may feel like you want to make some changes like uh, things are kind of like more faded in a way because they really are at this point 
So on Saturday, it's a great time to really slow down and think about your goals and uh, perhaps look at things from a different perspective. But again, more on this in the other video. And finally, on Sunday, we have a quintile between the Sun and Jupiter. So again, more of the Jupiter energy, so lots of focus on our goals, on the future. But the quintile is an aspect which suggests some kind of change. So there could be some kind of change, which hopefully will be positive. Usually those are positive shifts. And you may realize that you have a new goal or that you want to look at things from a different perspective. You can learn something valuable and overall you may feel like you are expanding. Also on Sunday, Mercury is having a big quintile with Uranus, which is another great aspect for learning, for um, especially for learning something new, something interesting and exciting and uh, out of the box thing. So if you want to start something new or just have a nice reading with your favorite book, that's a great time. Plus on Sunday, the transit moon will be in Capricorn, which can help us to be more grounded, uh, especially after so much Neptunian energy. This might feel like, okay, we are more balanced now. We are more connected to the earth. We may focus on more practical things and be engaged with something which is, again, more connected to the material reality. So this is how the next week looks like. As you can see, we don't have any major stressful aspects, actually none at all, but we do have Neptune turning direct and we have a solar eclipse. So it's still a transformational time, but it's not true pushing really hard or something showing up and, you know, feeling like a really some kind of turbulence. No, the Neptunian shifts, they are like waves. They are more gentle, but they may also be more confusing. So I hope you will find the best way for you to process this energy and to slow down, to tune into you your inspiration, your intuition, to heal whatever needs to be healed, and then to prepare for something fresh and something new coming really soon. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if there is something you are excited about or something important is happening in your life with your chart. If you need some kind of support, of course, you can check the links below for the different options for personal readings or trainings with me. Thank you again, and I'll see you very soon.